Hello everyone, it's your favorite camera lady, Caitlin Cohn, and thank you for joining me on my Patreon. So today I am editing a photo of my friend Farrah. We shot this using a FaceTime photo shoot style app um, and to create this fire and ice piece. So I'm going to just jump right into the details and get going. So I use the new Photoshop 2021. Right now I'm adding in the fires that I like. And then I'm going to add in this guy that has the lightning in it. Match it uh, for the color background. Instead of it being white, we want to get that blue undertone. And then I'm going to add in this snowy mountain. I flipped it horizontally. And then I started doing the blend mode. You can see I have the soft light right there. Um, a lot of things are trial and error, so you just got to go for it. Try it out. If you don't like it, change it. Here I am warping the flames. I used a different set of flames. Uh, for the front but because they're orange we're going to add in that blue and blend mode it up baby okay so then next we're going to add that volcano again fire and ice we try to have some symmetry here add in a little bit of setting with the trees that i definitely had to play with quite a bit and ended up changing the whole volcano itself because you know i really just wasn't feeling it so I continued to work on blending the new volcano and the setting, which probably was one of the trickiest parts of this just because the white background in the behind the trees that I put in just felt like wasn't hurtful or helpful <laughs> at the same time. And so it just, again, is trial and error. But when I added the colors and started to warm it up, I feel like it really started to come together. Continuing to add those colors, the warmth of the fire. We're going to end up continuing that warmth onto parts of her actual photo and not just foreground and background. Now, I've never been surrounded by a lot of hot fire like that, but if I were to imagine how it looked, I would assume she'd be warmer. So added in those yellow tones blending of course to make it look a little bit more realistic and not too yellow but we want to give that kind of uh, sci-fi glow a little bit it's all in the details and again the best part of art is trial and error have fun Try things you might not have tried, blend modes you might not have tried before. Just create. Okay, so now I'm adding in the settings on the left hand side, which are pine trees to keep up that icy winter feel, but the white wasn't working for me again on this side, so I changed the colors on them and played with the blend modes and warping and flipping them so that they look different, gave it some variety, some texture. Then I started to add in color tones to enhance the mountain and add to that texture. Began to add the blue glowy tones in here now. Now I'm going to go in and start to clean up some of my edges. This has always been one of the tricky parts of graphic design for me is getting those crispy edges without it looking pixelated. Now looking for small details, okay, at the end I definitely needed to see where this one layer was so that way I could blend the edges. Final little touches, there we go. And he added it things just a little bit, okay. And here we go, final result. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'm Caitlin Cohn, your favorite camera lady. Until next time, peace.